and welcome everyone we are back for another podcast we're going to talk about a lot of great stuff in this a lot of stuff possibly great i don't know it might be we'll see um there's going to be all sorts of marvel and dc topics here to talk about including the street side of things the corporate side of things uh various things we're going to talk about but before we get there as always i am armin you guys can find me at all the links that pop up on the thing the link tree and as always i am joined by mitch you can find me relic grinding in final fantasy 14. ah yes yes yep final fantasy 14. Mm-hmm. and uh, where can we find you tristan um i would have my my link tree but i am not prepared because i am a <laughs> diglet <laughs> and i have, just like, haven't got opposable thumbs like, they, they can't and go. like i spent like so much money on the steam sale so i have to like go through my list with a ton of backlog no yeah you mean was... you are playing destiny 2 uh, uh no no because no, you you outed yourself as having way more hours than me in that game um a lot more but I still fly under the radar because everyone still thinks <laughs> you were addicted to it, and I'm not. Yeah. I had to they send, will. like, uh, <laughs> I just sent freaking Jared a picture. I had no idea that Alex Jones and WO Wars is a video game. Really? It, WO yeah. Wars? What's that? New World <sighs> Order Wars, man. Oh, NWO. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that I, makes sense. It's, I made a mistake. It's on Steam by chance. Oh, it is. And guess what? Yeah, it yeah. costs seventeen seventy six. <laughs> but really? I quickly typed it into Google, and over on the video, <laughs> it's all the nerd channel grifters talking about the game, saying it's great. How ironic! Wow. It's wow. on brand, on brand. So. Is it like a pixel like metal slug? It, yeah, yeah. It's side scrolling oh. shoot 'em up. <laughs> Perfect. Whoever made that perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> it's craziness. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I, know, I just have it like came up on my screen right now. It's like so hilarious. It's all first clean pack, man. Then and came Donkey Kong. <laughs> Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what what a what a opener to a podcast, everybody! <laughs> huh? Well, welcome to this here show. It's uh. But how so... old is that game though? Not very old. It's uh, new. It just dropped. Yeah, oh, wow. November. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, That's crazy. It's a... Yep. Um. So some people that don't know this, we're actually pre-recording this podcast. So we're recording this after we did the last one, just to double down, and then all sorts of things yeah. happening. So we yeah, are, so... of course, like gonna talk about various things in here but before we get there we're just having so if aliens fun. land or like biden rips his mask off and it's the little mm. dude from men in black like we're not talking about it because it hasn't happened to us. yeah yeah, yeah exactly uh, and if anyone's searching for nwo wars um with this recording uh apparently uh sadly the offer for the for the uh, introductory price has already been passed so if it costs more by the time you listen to this it's not our fault yeah, just wait till July Fourth, where they'll have an America sale. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a what a crazy time! But <laughs> anyway, everybody, oh, uh, I saw one. Of, I saw one of the levels' names, and that's completely on brand with how, how on topic it is right now. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's with a certain island. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh uh, man, I kind of want to play it now. Just uh... who's gonna put it up on their service first, a PlayStation or Xbox <laughs> Game Pass? I well, Game Pass is just shovelware, so I'm gonna assume. That. Oh wait, the Nintendo Store they put and oh, put... They did, oh yeah. man, Alex Jones is gonna be on Nintendo console. Is it gonna be a Switch Two launch title? <laughs> Uh, I mean, if they bring all the other games from the original uh, Switch Online, then yeah. Nice. Uh, man, nothing will beat that Alex Jones moment on the Joe Rogan podcast where he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. He disappears for 45 seconds, that, yeah. clearly does a line, shows yeah. up back at the studio and goes, ah! 
oh, I'm ready. It's like, oh, he just <laughs> he just did a line right behind that wall. Come on. <laughs> Best moment of the entire show. I remember show. watching that just like, what am I watching? I downloaded that podcast for preservation's sake. And once a year, I just put it on and I just sit there. And now that I'm dabbling in, in the edibles, it just becomes better and better. <laughs> So the only Joe Rogan thing I've watched is like you know what I've I've had enough. Uh, yeah, you're pretty it. good there. You're the, yeah. the only I other think I definitely one. get the full Joe Rogan experience from that one episode of. Oh Joe yeah, Rogan yeah. Especially with Eddie Bravo, every time he shows up, yeah. is space <laughs> real? Uh, the Earth is flat. <laughs> There's no such thing as <laughs> computer screens. What? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, speaking of no such thing as computer screens, let's get to our first topic. Uh, how do I segue from Alex Jones to Eternals was a TV series I don't know but I mean the, the Eternals are literally based in conspiracies uh, that's true okay so I, they can yeah. also make their own islands as well <laughs> they also oh, can yes oh. so um, oh. interesting piece of detail we learned recently was that the Eternals was going to be an ABC TV series Um. yeah yeah why yes yeah, so, so basically in humans 2.0 it's yeah well no it would have been one point <laughs> because this was being done before humans oh humans was 2017 this was like 2015 2016. oh, oh okay the prototype in oh. humans. I so mean, was this around the same yeah. time that they were this would have been like that initial marvel tv pitch for abc that saw most wanted and pretty much all the yeah. stuff go to hulu so yeah i'm gonna be real with you it sounds like that this would have been the hellstrom of marvel tv where it didn't matter at all they probably wouldn't have even marked oh 100 like, yeah you know the fact like, that he had it's, it's, it's john ridley right yeah yeah you know he's like oh m- mine's the good version you know, there's a kid with a drill in his ear and a kid with a like a blanket in a bathtub i'm like yeah how is this eternal <laughs> what part of it? like unless this is like puck or sprite whoever you want to call it like unaliving himself yeah you, you, so what you're saying is nothing to do with eternals to me apart from no, nothing that. yeah like if you get it you're gonna come out here and say oh but mine's the good one like tell me why because so yeah. far you haven't no like, I yeah, agree with that. I would have liked to have seen it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't think it would have been. I don't think you can do Eternals on TV well, despite what everyone goes. Oh, this movie should have been a show. No, not in the slightest. But yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting it's... that they were doing this before the Inhumans, though. But it's also interesting that it started development as a marvel thing and then marvel studios took it like it i feel it, like it, it was a bit of a a bit of a revenge thing yeah yeah uh, yeah because oh, you, marvel... you make me do inhumans so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna take your eternal sort of thing and or it might be the... vice versa like you're taking my eternals i'm gonna do, make you do humans so. right like it seems like that marvel tv was definitely like dead set on one of these concepts had to happen. So mm. poor it, Jack Kirby got caught in the crossfire. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of crazy to me that we could have got that. But remember, at one point, like Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel was gonna be the sidekick to the Jessica Jones Jewel TV show on ABC as well. So it we got like early two thousands. Yeah, like we dodged some bullets with Marvel uh, <laughs> and Marvel Entertainment. So, so in, in fairness, Je- Carol and Jessica Jones together is how it should be. So uh, it mm. might not have been that bad. But... I, I don't know. That early 2000s comic book TV stink on it. Oh, I think it would have been kind of bad. Oh, um, yeah, there is that. that is yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Well, so calling her Jewel is a bit of a. <laughs> yeah. 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 It probably would have. That pivoted or maybe not who knows um but yeah eternals we just kind of wanted to talk about it here i think it would have been an interesting experiment that i don't think would have gone far especially with what it sounds like no i think it would have been a one and done season to be honest it, it, 
just the way he's talking about the opening. Oh yeah, the kid and the 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 one in the bathtub hiding under tinfoil. It's like, was this just going to be Marvel's heroes? Is that what? Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Yeah. yeah, it's again they didn't have the X Men at the time, so Perlmutter was probably like, ah, make it like the X Men, okay? It's, it's heroes, sure. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It is what there, it is. there was no way. There's no, there's no reality where this thing would have been the better Eternals. No, I don't see it. I don't no, see it. No chance. No, at no. least the movie, regardless of what people say about it, is Eternals. Uh huh. Yeah. So there we go. Eternals, almost a TV series. Where's my but, sequel? Yeah. Oh, well, eventually, I suppose. So we'll see. Well, you change the tune. Huh? I think it'll Eternals. happen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, speaking of character development, well, all the people saying there's superhero fatigue, superhero films are dying. Are they going to keep that energy with the DC universe? Because I'm excited for the DCU. But if superhero fatigue is real, doesn't it mean it's also going to hurt the DCU? No, you see, superhero fatigue only applies to Marvel. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, That's kind of what I'm getting from people. Yeah. I don't think you know, like harmed the DCU. It's that if the movies are are mid or kind of bad, then most likely, yeah, people are just not gonna care anymore about what James Gunn has up his sleeves anymore. So, mm-hmm. yeah, pretty much. I think that's the mm-hmm. same place as Marvel, right? Like yeah. Marvel aren't putting out things people are that hot on. Yeah, yeah. but I think they're still the one. Because for people obviously care because it's it's literally yeah, everywhere. It's, you have variety yeah. putting out hit piece after hit piece for that. Yeah, it's uh, to me it just feels like I guess Marvel has a leeway with the past about putting out quality content, so people are uh, more open to see if things are good. While me personally, I think with DCU people are more app- apprehensive with what they're trying yeah. to do after so many times saying no, 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 no. This is where it starts. No, no, no. This is where it really starts. It's what happens when you actually put out stuff and people, you, you, you garner trust with the audience and not, you know, throw out Superman that's in a really bad movie. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But he was, he, he was the smoking gun. Don't you remember? It was Superman versus his, like, most evil enemy ever. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> just Ben Affleck. I don't even say it. Just Ben Affleck. Uh, you get oh. sad rock noises in the background. Like, like the thing with the whole superhero fatigue thing. A mm-hmm. part of it is true, yes. Part of it is also, again, money issues, uncertainty. There's a whole yeah, lot. There's so many it. facts right now. Yeah. <laughs> Going to see a movie is silly expensive. Like yeah, it's it dumb is. how much a movie yeah. costs. Like, it's thirty quid for two people to go see a movie over here. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you got. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not even that. It's it has to. Right, be, you have everything. to at least like. I think for here anyway, for like major cities, you have to have at least uh, like a, probably like a hundred and twenty to hundred and thirty dollars for like two people, and that's like the tickets. Oh, I wasn't including food. I yeah, the, including yeah. Any the snacks. Food. No, it's it's like, yeah, the gasoline. Also, that thirty car. quid is with a concession for an old person. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the only time you get, like cheap is like if you go to like those small town and they just this is what they have to do, and you didn't go to a small town, so um, just a whole bunch yeah. of factors into this. Because mm-hmm. let's be honest, not. Uh, what three movies last year did well? More, more or less. Four, maybe four with Guardians. Uh, yeah, more, more or less. Because everyone likes to forget about Guardians three last year. So, oh, Marvel had a re- like the worst year ever because everything bombed. It's like, well, it might have been the worst ever, but Guardians three was right there. And right, made right. A ton of money. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. Like, I think this whole thing in regards to fatigue is just not really it's not being fairly assessed by anybody people just want to pile on for one reason to say it's because woke or it's because this but there's so many factors will the dcu be affected by it yeah 
everybody else's. Yeah. Everything it's, is. But yeah. It's, yeah. it's just this time frame from 2020 to around 20, probably around to 2025 to maybe even 2026. It's, it's just a big like asterisk of context of what you need to uh, you know explain why this error right here is a little bit up up into the air and not just yeah. say you know people are, are you know are you know tired of being talked down to or we're tired of seeing inclusiveness and all, all this is it's just a whole bunch of context you have to go through that people are being disingenuous about what is actually going on because mm-hmm. yeah. you, you people have wanted to claim superhero fatigue for like 10 years like, let's yeah like, ever since the first Avengers came out people have been desperate for that to be a thing now you might have a, a, an inkling of a chance that that's, that's happening they're latching onto it that's all it is and people uh, just want to be right and say it's happening. Yeah. It's yeah. the Planet Hulk thing with um, <laughs> Heroic Hollywood all, the, all those years ago. <laughs> I've been saying it's going to happen for 6,000 years, and lo and behold, they oh, might behold, have it's done... happening. I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they might have slightly used the storyline in the Thor movie. Therefore, a Planet Hulk movie yeah. actually happened. Well, yeah. And then you see the bad haircut they gave his son. So. <laughs> uh, I'm like I, I don't want to see my Hulk no more. Well, tough titties, you're gonna get World War Hulk now. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like even with they say the the thing for superhero fatigue, to me it just means like you know it's just a catch-all word because superhero can be mean can mean anything and be in any genre. So there's yeah, like because stuff like the boys is doing well and Cre- yeah. Invincible's doing well. Like, it's... Yeah, it's like, there's many different genres that the quote unquote superhero can fit, and people like either ignore it or they refuse to accept it because yeah, for for the title, uh, there's many different types of quote unquote superheroes that just you know fit a niche within the overall arcing of a company that. You, if you look at the character, they don't look like a superhero. They, some of them even wear like regular clothes or clothes that are accurate to the era that they're in. So, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, it's more like mid movie fatigue. Really. That's what that's basically what it is. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and also I don't, I don't think Marvel's been that great this these last couple of phases yeah. with explaining exactly what the the narrative is. Yeah, they're, they're going uh-huh. obviously, yeah. I'm not saying they have to come out here and tell yeah. explain everything in great detail, like you know, everyone begging, oh, it's not, yeah. they're not going yeah. for anywhere. It's like, yeah. just, just be patient, right? Like, no. be patient. They haven't done it great. No, man, like, you want to be spoon fed, yeah, Stop. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's with all the context of it, with everything that's happening, it affects every studio so far, and and it, unfortunately, it, it, it sucks because. It, it basically it opens everything that's been planned out so far, and mm-hmm. for better or for worse, this is you know the I guess the growing pains to see if they can make it through. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. also, if you have enough people saying something bad, <laughs> oh, oh the vocal. Like, you, you, you just got to look at like the Destiny community right now. Like, yeah. all the, the content creators are saying like how bad the game is, and they're they're yeah. right. It's just you know, yeah. the worst part it's ever been. Yeah. Like you're gonna get this drop off in interest. Yeah, because other people are just yeah. going to say it's bad because other people are saying it's bad. Like, you right. just get this yeah. like the echolalia cycle. Yeah. Well, let's just stand. You know, hoping that um, people lose lose interest. Well, for most part, it's people losing interest in people saying, you know, it's bad. Like, yeah. Eventually, yeah. people are going to stop caring about you know this one person that's very vocal. About saying, you know, I told you I was right. I told you I was right. And it usually only takes like one or two things to change a person's mind to say, maybe I'll try this out to see if it's good. And if it's good, uh, then it's just, you know, that person didn't know what he was talking about. If it's just, you know, if it's bad, you, you wait. Like, I was they'll, right. they'll, yeah. they'll rework Cap 4, right? I can't, I can't remember what the, the title is now. Brave New World? Brave New World, that's yeah, it. I keep, I keep saying New World Order. Not Ooh, yeah, so no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Captain America, something about the Jews. No, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, they'll, they'll rework that. It Hopefully, it will get a really good like critical reception. 
Yeah. And then people, it will pique people's interest again. And they'll go back and see it. It's how it's always going to work now. People haven't got the money to go see movies they don't think are getting good like reviews. Mm-hmm. So why waste your time, you know? Exactly. Like, I think everything will contribute to this fatigue thing. I don't think it's fair to just point to one thing and say that's the issue because, I mean, is Starfield a mid-game? Yes. Why? Yes. Well, let me give you 30 issues, not just <laughs> on <laughs> Howard yeah. Lies. Okay? Well, it's, uh, it's, let me give you the TLDR, yeah. Bethesda. Well, yeah. I was gonna, oh, I was going to say it, it's just Skyrim, but in space. So, so yeah, yeah, Bethesda. That's literally every, <laughs> every Bethesda game is, hey, it's Skyrim. In yeah, this and, uh, I just I just want to make this clear for everyone listening. It's like I don't want the DCU to like suck and taper off. I lo- I actually like a lot of the DC heroes. It's just that yeah. I'm apprehensive to believing into that believing in them that they believe in the project so far. Because mm-hmm. I want you know yeah. to have Swamp Thing. I want to have Supergirl. I want to have Green Lantern. But if they keep doing this over and over, it's like why should I care? Yeah, like I sure. can only like like Batman so much before I just get sick of him and say I don't want to see Batman. Give me someone else. No, you 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 have more Batman, Tristan. <laughs> I don't want more Batman. Tough. You got two Batman. <laughs> Plus, you want more? You're gonna get you three Joker Batman. Two, it's just like when they like stuff Joker and everything. It's like he has oh. more villains, man. I don't want to see Joker. I, I like how the implication with that when they stuff Joker and everything, implying that there's ever been a time where they didn't do that. Hey, hey, everything's a blur uh, every time I see things. It's <laughs> like seeing flat circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's the feeling though. Everything's a blur. Yeah, that's Joker. All mm. right, that's that's it. Imagine being the bottom of Variety's most anticipated list for 2024. Yeah, mm. wild. Especially after yeah. that movie did so well. Yeah, it's kind of weird, Wait. but hey, here we are. Here we are. So, like, we shall see. When, I don't know. Like, I, I, did Penguin come out? No, Penguin hasn't come out yet. They're still filming. Okay, because yeah. like I was like, come on, yeah, that's all bad memories. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. just is really in a blur. He's just like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good segue. Um, you know who is in a blur constantly by the look of it? Ike Perlmutter as he's trying to fight his way back into a hostile takeover of Disney and Marvel. Oh, you mean the guy who said that all black people look the same and he's definitely not racist? Uh, that's hey, that's the okay. one. What do you know? <laughs> God, yeah, it's definitely not the guy who got really, really pissy because Fox didn't want to go with his idea for toys, so he like just went scorched earth for X Men and Fantastic Four. Oh no, yeah, so. Definitely not. No, 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 no. This is the guy that will save Disney. He will definitely not like burn. Yeah, he's going to pull Disney out the woke agenda. (laughs) Get ready for White Panther. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's. I can't believe that we're new world. We're bringing Steve back. Uh, Yeah, like I just can't believe we're at this point where this is a thing. No. It's succession. We're literally living in a succession world right now. Yeah, it's. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> no, it is, might genuinely be the worst time for Disney. Yeah, and essentially, what's happening is Ike has people on the board that he's close with that own majority of yep. certain shares of certain departments, and he's trying to prop them up because what happened is he was setting up, or he believed he was setting up one of his goons, let's put it that way, to take over Disney for Iger. Iger Mm. never wanted Ike to be in the position he's in, always pushed Kevin, and also was never going to appoint that guy. So when it was Chapek instead of this other guy, who you should know would have made Chapek look like godsend. Is it gay, um, gay something? I can't even remember his name. I just remember no. no. <laughs> yeah, They're like he's a really good guy. He 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 knows his stuff. It's just like no, I'm sure he does. <laughs> so is he associated with you lot? Then he's absolutely not the right guy for the job. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, like I, 
it's concerning. Could, yeah, this is concerning because it could happen. It legit could yeah. happen. It's like it's got a very good chance. <laughs> very good chance. Um, so I don't even know where do we start with what would happen. As, well, like, first of all, by Kevin Feige, that man would yeah. absolutely be at the door. Yep. Whether he wants it or not, he he he's gone. It's just simple as that. Like they they, they don't care. He'll be gone. Yeah. It doesn't matter what he's done. It'll just be like, no, you're out the door because we want to do things this way. Now, of course, I've already seen people say that's great because Ike running Marvel Entertainment was better. So I guess now Iron Fist and like Inhumans is better. It's been like a five to ten year cycle of this thing's bad. Give it five, ten years. This thing was the best. Yeah. Uh, That's just how. I don't know how we got there. I blame George Lucas. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I, I think he's he's caused that with Star Wars. I'm not going to say which one, but I'm I'm pretty certain he he started that with Star Wars. But mm-hmm. that's that's the cycle that I know Jared out there is like legging it across the sea to punch me in the face for saying it. But, <laughs> yeah, but it's true though. It's just true. Like he's just turned like just think of like Alex Jones running. That's what I can imagine with Jared. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of yeah. It's... He's virtually Alex Jones as it is anyway. So it's I don't like that this could happen, but it legitimately could. And if it does happen, yeah. he, if you guys think He Hulk was rushed and had better like bad special effects, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because <laughs> like, no. fun oh. fact, you've never seen Iger. No, I go. You never seen Pearl Matter with like full control over this stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was always reined back. So, yeah. yeah uh, you guys want comics for uh, context of what you should be doing? Yeah, we can't afford that. You guys get this uh, sketch pad about what you guys should be doing. Yeah, it's just interesting how. I know people would hate to go on, but oh, there's this culture war. It's like there is a, absolutely a culture war going on. Mm-hmm. The problem is, uh-huh. it's with the classes. It's not with the people. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You have all the billionaires trying to put their yeah. way back, like keep the yeah, way how you yeah. were. We need our money. <laughs> yeah. And I can say that for a fact because it's, we're run by the UK, or the UK is run by them right now. So. <laughs> It's, I don't know. Like I don't. Dry and sunk. Yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of everything we're hearing, and we'll see what happens again. No. It's still a little early. It could happen at some point. We'll see. Um, it, is it can also literally fun. happen whenever. It could happen yeah. before this stuff even comes out. Right. right. It's so we don't know. Obviously, if something does happen, we'll we'll talk about it when it does. But until then, there's not a whole lot outside of yeah. yeah it could happen. So just look forward to the DCU cast. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> God damn. Uh, but hey, um, speaking of the DCU and how they've had some problems, ongoing problems with Avengers 5 continue to happen. So it could be delayed indefinitely or for the time being. So what do you make of this? Because it's definitely not coming out in 26. I mean, it definitely is fine, right? I know people don't know what that word mm. means and they think it definitely is permanently permanent yeah but, uh-huh. uh, it's, 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 with, with how they are right now like of course they're going to delay it indefinitely like they don't know when they're going to be able to get around to it they're literally having someone rewrite the damn thing they're mm-hmm. trying to figure out what they're going to do with kang and they're trying to sort out all the other movies like i would not want to be working at marvel studios right now they have right. a lot on their plate they i wouldn't even be surprised if they skip san diego and not talk about anything this year same. I, I think just D23. maybe D23 and that's it. And minimal. Too. I, even even then, no, I think that's going to be, if they do do it, something like this, it's going to be very minimal. Because uh-huh. what are they going to say? Yeah, we have these movies coming out that we announced three mm. years ago, but we're only just getting around to it now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're sorry we have um, oh, slightly uh, turned to DC a little bit, uh, but I didn't know. Just, I just did a little um, Google search here, and it's going to be in Anaheim this year, so yeah, it was Japan good. last year, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Because yeah, be they fun. alternate the yeah, yeah every every other year, it's either in Anaheim or Japan. 
It'll but, be interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some. We'll have some like news on that around first first second week of August. Let's say it's like August September, isn't it? D twenty. Uh, well, this year it's August 9th through the eleventh, so it's three days. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not okay. Too bad See, I, should... I think you're probably just going to get like updates and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, hey, here's casting for stuff we haven't announced yet. But and honestly, maybe one or two new things. Though. If they were to announce who the new Kang actor is, this is where you would do it. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, and again, I know there's rumors that they want to start production on Kang Dynasty or Avengers Five this spring. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, know, no. that thing is going to get delayed. I'm sorry, um. They can yeah. bump around more content that they're fine, you know. Like it's yeah, it's, I, I don't want to compare it to the Bozeman situation, but the way uh-huh. they have to handle it is very similar. Yeah, right. You know, again, not not comparing the two in the slightest. So if you get mad about it, that's your fault. But like, uh, they they just have to step back, take a breath, evaluate. Figure out what you gotta do. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. It's just as simple as that. It's um and on the and whole like that. They'll, they'll, they'll get they, they, they didn't they didn't put out like the first three phases and then instantly lose the ability to do anything, right? Exactly. Like right. obviously there's so many things to consider in relation to not just Marvel, but all the DC problems as well. And again, people are still not understanding that. An entire year of a pandemic, and then the two years following it—two years of a pandemic—it's right? massive blow to everything. And then the strikes that happened, all within JPEC on top of that. Like, all, yeah. all this is four <laughs> years. Like it has been a ride. Like I don't see people having the same conversation when it comes to video games, and this... those have been affected to a huge. No, because AAA well. gaming is about to damn crumble. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not sustainable. Uh, no, because it's essentially like. If you look at it from like the hours perspective, it's essentially start, stop, start, stop, start, mm-hmm. stop. You're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, the world's crazy right now. Right. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> nothing's really working. <laughs> no, we, hey, we're barely hey, hanging on by a thread. Right. Hey, at yeah. least we have the emoji in Las Vegas to keep us company. <laughs> Uh, so you, you you laugh at that. That generally might be the greatest human invention. <laughs> they they talk about AI being the last thing humans invent. The they, that giant sphere in Vegas is the last thing we invent. When is uh, the uh, Horizon game going to get updated to feature well, that as DLC? I think <laughs> I, I thought like they got denied. I think they said they wanted to try it in Europe or, or London, maybe, but they got denied. With that uh, big, I'd know, say um, I think London wants a, a, a big giant clitoris in the middle of the river. Um, <laughs> I don't remember hearing about it being denied because uh, uh, I remember something about that that they're trying to get on that one over there since it was apparently a hit in Las Vegas. <laughs> well, there's also like I don't know, this whole world, what's happened in the last couple of years, right, has affected everything. Um, and you look at the entire world where we're at right now, what's being spent money on, right? And I want to talk specifically about the film industry right now from what we're seeing. Has anybody noticed that when 2023 started, by summer, The Little Mermaid was the biggest like disappointment? Oh, it's not going to make money. It's like the fourth biggest film of last year. And that was considered a disappointment. It made like but when only three movies million. did well. Right. Really right. And, well. It's not exactly a high bar. <laughs> what I want to bring into the conversation is, is it time for smaller films that aren't Avengers to go back to the drawing board and be a $150 million production with 300 combined instead of 580 for a film, right? Like, yeah. It, go back. Well, that's what old um, Spielberg said, wasn't it? You know, you're going to have a couple of these $200 million movies just bum and then it was going to reevaluate. Well, of course. Yeah. He's doing Blackhawks for DC. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. What, wait, what now? Blackhawks? <laughs> <laughs> was a Cast your mind back a decade, literally a decade ago. <laughs> when well, it, like, no, it gives you it gives you the image of what what that big uh, splash page of all the yeah. uh, IPs that they're going to be doing because they're all connected. Mm. They got rewritten yeah. like every couple of years because they didn't know what they were doing. Uh huh. 
God, what a time. It's, I, I mean, look, no matter what anybody says, fatigue is a thing. Avengers being delayed doesn't hurt the MCU at all. I think Avengers being delayed no. helps the MCU because you're giving it more time. You're going to take more time to establish projects and things that people care about more. Like right now, if it's coming out in two years and two months, which is when it's supposed to come out and we're going to know everything about it, they need to speed run to get to that film. Yeah. Like it's, it's just not feasible. Especially when this year we already have Deadpool three. Yeah. And then next year, Cap, Thunderbolts and Fantastic Four. Like two of those can't really contribute to Kang Dynasty. Only Fantastic Four maybe can. Like, like yeah. You know. I, I, my only hope is that it's it's not like her King Dynasty, like Secret Wars. Please just let it be like 2015, a uh, Secret yeah. Wars, and, yeah, and not yeah. and not Battle World Two. <laughs> no, you're absolutely gonna get the the original Secret Wars. <laughs> that's, that's still the only reason why it's an Avengers movie, right? It's, <sighs> it exists for Smashy Smashy. That's about it. Um, you might get yeah. some little plot in there somewhere, but not a lot. It's <sighs> one of those just things where I just want the next Avengers film to be great and be make no mistake about it. This film can be as good as Avengers 1 or Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. And it will still be dumped on because it might not be as good as Endgame. Like, it, they've set the bar like, so high with comic book films, well, team-ups. It's why, Like, technically, why, why, would it, why would people like, expect it to be of, in, that, of that level for Endgame when they're starting a new, technically starting a different or a new type in of In fact, it's when you jump straight to Secret Wars, you yeah. kind of... Expected. Yeah, you're cut. Yeah, <laughs> you're blowing the load. So, I'm, just, I'm, just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, you finally get a, like a new cap. He had like a like the most amazing suit ever, and then we get uh, action figure man and yeah. then into Se- Secret yeah. Wars. But yeah, just they get excited. Done Samuel, okay. Just you wait till Daredevil gets punched in the ribs by Kang, and he's out for the entire saga. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I mean, Kang got beaten by ants, so <laughs> yeah, it's, Ooh, like, it's like what the B plot is uh Matt coming in and out of a coma to see what he's doing <laughs> and it goes back into the coma. That's all of Daredevil Born Again season two is just him slowly waking up. You're like, oh what happened? You got punched in the ribs, uh oh, passes out. <laughs> Did we win? <laughs> Did we win? <laughs> Man. Uh, I know, they, they they know. They can't mess up Avengers. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. You can you can mess up one or two things. You know, you had the Dark World and Iron Man two and whatever else, but we didn't particularly like at the time. But uh-huh. Avengers is the one thing they can't get wrong, and they know that. So they're gonna literally just take their time. Yeah. It'll all work out. I have faith. It'll be fine. Same. Same. So, again, we're not too worried. Look, yeah, the rumors are it's going to get delayed. If it gets delayed, it's probably being delayed by a year into Secret Wars original slot, and then Secret Wars is probably getting bumped back a year or two, which is fine. Again, take your time. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's... Uh, there goes my dream of getting Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> we, Secret Wars, you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Could happen. He, so, he said next time, so there has to be a next time. N- next time, baby, exactly. One of these next times, it's going so, to happen. So, uh, overall, um, I think it's all good. Like, it's it's just more negativity that surrounds everything. Because I've noticed positivity now more so than ever is taking a backseat. Nobody wants to talk about positive things anymore. But the moment you put, it's been that way for a good decade, it, yeah. it's gone, it's the worst now. It's honestly the worst, right? I mean, now. It, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I, I've been too busy with my head in Final Fantasy 14 to actually take any notice of anything else. Smart but, man, <laughs> it's smart. It's like, oh, happy, happy, I'm good, I'm happy. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, no, you gotta, you gotta dive into the toxicity. 
be be as much as online on on Twitter or I mean X as I am. When yeah. I'm not, when no, I'm you not mean Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when I'm not when I'm not working on stuff, I'll just surf and it's people complaining, people upset, people yeah, making the, the classic <laughs> doom scroll. Right? Well, not even, not even <laughs> that. It's just like uh, it's like they find like people who are overly negative on stuff, be it you know comics superheroes movies in general and they'll find the smallest thing they can to blow out of proportions and like if you take a second to think about it it's like why are you so angry about this it because, doesn't really uh, make any Elon sense musk program the butt account to be that angry about it because <laughs> he's really mad that his twitter ai mm-hmm. turned out to be woke uh, oh, oh i thought it's it was because like i thought it was because they lost like 12 billion in revenue <laughs> no uh, <laughs> <laughs> they wish they lost only 12 billion in revenue twitter is now just worth 12 billion it's down 75 percent oh yeah it's crazy. just uh, it's just what it is because that's that's all i ever see is people's like, why are you so mad yeah <laughs> yeah people are just like that but hey some positivity at least we're trying to spread some so hopefully Everybody enjoyed another podcast this week. Um, if we not, shall... screw you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with that. There we go. Yeah, as, <laughs> as positive as you can say. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so hopefully everybody's been having a good month. Um, we will, of course, catch you guys for the next podcast. And by the end of January, we're going to do the look forward to 2020 for as a whole year because i want to kind of jot down everything that's coming including tv which i did not jot down so i only had the films i like how you admit the most depressing months of the year from what to look forward to in the year yeah yep yep gotta happen as a a january baby i find that offensive (laughs) (laughs) so we will be back soon everybody so stay tuned hopefully you guys are having a good january and uh we'll catch you next time